students now we'll be starting with the uh, eighth question these are it is having uh, these uh, a b c d e f paths and in each question some condition is given we have to use this that condition and find the angles in a the angles are complementary and the smaller is 40 degree less than the larger first of all complementary and supplementary again complementary are the angles which supplementary are the angles which sum up to 180 degree let us see a eighth question a here it is the smaller is 40 degree less than the larger for this we have to see the larger so let the larger angle be x and it is given the angle is x minus 40 now let us make a diagram here you have to make the diagram of every question don't forget to draw diagram with every question here it is not given in the book that's why i am drawing smaller angle is x minus 40 they are complementary so simply they will uh, be in the form of right angle so larger is x and smaller is x minus 40 uh, and they will sum up to 90 because they are complementary angle simple so x plus x is 2x this minus 40 will go here and it will become plus 40 this is 130 degree divide by 2 you will get 65 so larger is 65 and smaller is 65 minus 40 that is 25 degree now let us see what is given in the b part the angles are complementing the larger is four times the smaller again then again let those uh, because it is compared to smaller so let us take smaller x and larger four x, that means 4x here you will make the diagram like this so x plus 4x is 90 5x 90 then x divide x equals to 18 degrees so smaller you have got 18 and a larger you get 72 degree now let us see what is given in c part angles are supplementary and the smaller is one half of the larger supplementary means they will sum up to 90 uh, sorry 180 degree here it is given smaller is half of the large so larger angle x smaller again will be x by 2 and because they are supplementary you make the diagram like this x plus x by 2 you will get 180 take the lcm so 2x plus x is 3x upon 2 cross multiply and you will get 120 degrees so larger angle is 122 and smaller is half of it that is 60 degrees now let us see c1 the angles are uh, sorry d1 angles are supplementary again supplementary means sum up to 180 degree and larger is 58 degree more than the smaller so first we need smaller so let the smaller be x larger is x plus 58 and they will sum up to 180 see the diagram x plus x plus 58 equal to 180 degree x plus x you will get 2x subtract 58 divide by 2 you will get 61 smaller angle and you will get the larger by adding 58 this is how you are going to solve this now e1 again supplementary angles and the larger is 20 degree less than 3 times the smaller 20 degree less than 3 times the smaller okay so smaller will be x and larger will be 20 degree less than 3 times the smaller that means 3x minus 20 make a diagram like this so add these two and because they are supplementary they will sum up to 180 this x plus 3x is 4x minus 20 will go here and it will be added divide by 4 you will be getting smaller 50 and larger angle 3 into 50 minus 20 that is 130 degree f the angles are adjacent and form an angle of 140 degree the smaller is 20 degree less than the larger okay now here the angles are adjacent adjacent means they are having a common row and a common common ray a common line common vertex okay so larger angle uh, let us take it x and smaller angle is 28 degree less than the larger angle so make a diagram like this and they will sum up to 140 it is given so we will uh, we will take this x plus x is 2x 28 will go here and add up and uh, divide by 2 and you will get uh, x equal to 84 so larger angle 84 smaller angle 56 degrees now <coughs> come to this ninth question this ninth question you have to calculate the value of x see <coughs> i have uh, told you all the properties and i have shown you so many calculations now with the help of these properties and these calculations and the solved examples in the book you are going to solve the whole of ninth question on your own you can take the help of 
all these solved examples and you have to solve the whole of the ninth question on your own all these solved examples will help you a lot see the diagrams are same as in the examples so uh, let me explain you a bit here 2x plus 3x they are forming straight lines so they will sum up to 180 and then you will calculate here it is given right angles so 4x plus 5x will be 90 and then you calculate here they are forming angles rotating around a point they are on a point so x plus 2x plus 3x plus will be equal to 360 degrees then you will calculate here all these three are forming a, a straight line so again all these three will add up to 180 degree then you will calculate and here x plus 2x plus 2x plus 60 all these are rotating around a point so all these will be sum up to 360 degrees and then you calculate so this is your homework this you have to do now like look at the 10th point a uh, 10th question in the given figure a b and c d this figure they are intersecting lines angle b o c is 36 we have to calculate x y and z so uh, by seeing the diagram you can see that x is directly equal to 36 because they are vertically opposite angles okay and uh, for calculating y and z you can take y plus 36 see here y plus 36 will be 180 degree y because they are forming a straight line so you can calculate y and y and z will be equal now let me show you the calculation this is 10th one boc is equals to 36 degree x is equal to 36 because they are vertically opposite angles and plus y is equal to 180 degree see this is x plus y here you can see x plus y they are all flying on the straight line so it is equal to 180 degree by this you can calculate y and z and y are vertically opposite angles so by this you can write z equal to 144 degree okay so now let us see the 11th question here in this pq and rs are intersecting lines but there is a, a, a sub separate angle 90 degree rot now they, you are given only this angle and you have to calculate x y and z <coughs> here this rot is given 90 degree okay now if i put up put my pen like this you can see that 2x 90 and x they all these three lie on a straight line and they form uh, at complete angles uh, they form a straight line of 180 degrees so 2x plus 90 plus x will be we will be starting with this so 2x plus x is 3x subtract 90 divide by 3 so x you will get 30 degree now we have got x equal to 30 degree so you can see that y is equal to 2x because they are vertically opposite angles so y is equal to 2 into 30 60 degree also y plus z see y and z they form a straight line so y plus z is 180 with this you can calculate z also in this way we have calculated x y and z now look at the 12th question in the given figure uh, sorry in the given figure angle aoc plus angle bod is 266 degree find all four angles see angle aoc and angle bod if you see uh, they are intersecting lines and these two angles are vertically opposite angles so these two angles are equal so if they are summing summing up to something then uh, this means they are half of this because in uh, these two have total of 266 degrees and they are equal so angle aoc is equal to angle bod they are vertically opposite angles so half of 266 that means 133 each angle will be measuring of 133 and also AOC plus BOC they are forming a straight line so they will be they will sum up to 180 degree AOC plus BOC now this we will calculate BOC and BOC will be always equal to AOD because they are again vertically opposite angles so angle AOD is 47 degrees now see the 13th question in the given figure AOC BOC and BOD AOC BOC and BOD these three total of these three is given 338 now here you can see AOC plus BOC they are forming a straight line so they will be 180 degree now let us see the calculation 
see i have uh, same thing i have written aoc plus bod is 180 degrees so in place of aoc plus boc, BOC i have written 180 plus bod equal to 338 so by subtracting you will get bod also angle aoc is equal to angle bod so if we are getting bod 158 then aoc will also be 158 now boc now how you have calculated boc boc is 180 minus 158 and what is 158 aoc angle aoc and uh, boc they form total of 180 degrees whatever aoc is there subtract from 180 you will get boc and aod and boc see aod and boc they are equal because they are vertically opposite angles so aod is also equal to 22 degree